Welcome back to the live. You see, I said that, you know, I've been announcing a lot of basketball games, man. So Ooh. I'm like, you know, D vocals, man. Sex. <laughs> That's who I got <laughs> here. Get the sound effects going, right? Rest, Ross, <laughs> What's I'm new, man? What's here. going on? Man, man. Uh, I, you know, believe it or not, it's like wedding season is is pretty much right here. I, yep. I've got actually a couple weddings next week. Um, mm. I'm going to be at the Hyatt Regency uh, on the 15th and I've got two events on the 17th that are both weddings. So I want to give a shout out to DJ real who works with the Chicago bulls, Chicago bears, um, super talented, uh, musician artist. Um, he does paintings, right. Uh, he's also done a lot of, uh, uh, like live show games, uh, mm -hmm. out in London. So like for the London games and like internationally for the bears, like doing a lot of showings for them. So, nice. uh, we've been able to collaborate on a lot of different projects together, but for those who don't know DJ real, man, he's really good, really good guy. And, uh, got connected with him last a couple years ago, actually. Yeah. So, that's solid, man. Yeah. Solid. Still waiting yeah. for those tickets, but you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna push. <laughs> I got oh, you, man. I, yeah, got no, you. I, I threw that out on the live here. Hey, everybody. Uh, no, uh, all good. Um, listen, man, um, you know, um, I was just off a, another call before this and we were talking about like uh, special custom things. Right. Um, and that yeah. got me thinking a little yeah. bit uh, about our conversation today. And that mm. conversation is, OK, so, yeah, you're a musician. You have recorded. You've recorded other people's stuff, but you've also recorded your own stuff. Um, and yeah. when you're in an event, maybe a wedding or a corporate event or something like that, um, yeah. have you been approached to record a personal something, a song, uh, you know, maybe a beat something, uh, for anybody that you're performing for? So it's interesting. I, I, I actually did a custom recording for myself, uh, for, for the wedding walk this past week. Mm -hmm. And I was a part of the West Loop wedding walk for those who don't know. Uh, it's an event that happens in Chicago is the fifth annual event for those who are uh, preparing to get married, uh, looking for vendors to connect with. I was one of the musicians and I actually did like a, a mini intro um, and I used Kanye West's song, used this gospel. Mm -hmm. And I pretty much did like a little voiceover just of me actually talking. But I have done in many cases uh, where clients will ask like, hey, can you can you do like a recording of just like jazz and like instrumental bass uh, type content, which I can do. Uh, what I typically preface based on the client's preferences is like, you know, it's going to sound better when it's live. You know, that's just number one. Um, I can pre-record it. I think a lot of times people enjoy seeing things in live time because there's there's a different level of excitement that that plays. And also just, um, you know, your ability to engage with the people that are a part of the event. Um, sometimes I've had that where I haven't been able to do an event. And someone will ask me like, hey, could you like record some saxophone and like we could like pay you for the recording? Um, that is something I, I do provide as well. Typically, I would say, though, if it is some type of recording that I'm going to provide the best, the best quality of sound is going to be if you're doing like a track uh, or if you're looking to mix it with maybe like a, a, a live like hip hop or like a house music type set. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it could definitely work. But ideally, I would say go live no matter what if it's an entertainment mm -hmm. event if it's a private event you're going to get more feedback um from seeing the live musicianship take place right then and there got it and along with that how about keepsakes you know how about uh like say yeah. i'm getting married yeah. and then you know you knocked it out of the park live yeah yet i want like this thing on you know an mp4 now where are we at mp5s i don't know where we're at man I'm something, not, something like that i yeah. was gonna we're say a, a cd AK. but you know but you know like you know <laughs> yeah. they have a keepsake that then they can yeah. go back and like you know sure. remember the saxophone player sure. uh at our yeah. at our wedding or or even an event you know um you know yeah. yeah what what's that like is that have you ever been uh you know somebody said something like that or is yeah. that an option Hey man, listen, a floppy disk, CD, you know, who knows, right? I mean, <laughs> no, but uh, honestly, um, when, it, <laughs> when, it, when it comes to like any type of like recording, I have done some birthday uh, keepsakes, right? Like there was someone uh, who reached out to me and I can't remember the country. I want to say Turkey, believe it or not. This was like during uh COVID pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, they were following my content and they were like, man, you are so awesome. Like my birthday's coming up. Would you mind like doing like happy birthday on the saxophone? I did a quick snippet, happy birthday, me playing on the saxophone and I sent it off and they like shared it with their whole following. Nice. Come to find out this person does like decor and like custom like candles and 
actually sent me some like custom candles like in the mail um you know with like my name on it and 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 some family members i have and i was just like wow like thank you so much for this like i wasn't even expecting it but just let like mementos like that you never know how that can resonate with someone either you know um and i think it just depends like i said every client has their specific needs and wants some some want more of an acoustic sound so they may not want a backing track they may just simply want saxophone just mm-hmm. just dry cut cut and dry um but there's a lot of situations where i think it can be it can be something that works you know um recently i've been working with a lot of clients who just want instrumental so like if they don't want the lyrics and mm-hmm. they just want to hear the saxophone as the main vocal that's something that i can also do as well so you just let me know and, and we'll make it happen i don't know about floppy disks though i'm gonna have to see if they still sell those at walgreens or something i'm gonna find one man i know i got one in my basement somewhere i swear to you I oh, right? find, as, yeah i'm so old like the kids in the in the class are like is this a save button is that 3d printed yeah, yeah. That's, that's how it works right, so. right. hey uh, man those still work <laughs> final final question is um you know when when there's a background music, right? I remember back in the day, like the DJ would play like a, a background kind of track. Do you do that sure. live? And what are some of the things like you do like a quick background track to like, like, is there, you know, a video going on or what, yeah. you know, have you ever done that? Yeah, well, I, I would say thanks to YouTube, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, instrumentals that you can pull off of YouTube nowadays mm-hmm. where uh, you've got different producers, engineers that, you know, you can give credit to, whether you're mm-hmm. posting something on social media, giving them credit for remaking the beat to almost sound exactly like uh, what the actual instrumental is like, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's how I've done a lot of my covers, believe it or not. You know, that's mm-hmm. the way I've been able to put myself out there, uh, kind of show people that I'm an open format player, meaning I can play really any genre uh, of music, right? Uh, and then depending on like the type of event, like there's sometimes where I'm just playing background music, I'm more of like a fly on the wall. It's not like a dance party, but they want something to kind of fill up the sound a little bit in the background as people are talking, networking, right? Um, and I think that's where the background uh, instrumentals really play nicely, where you know, you've got people that are networking doing business together but they want to also hear some type of background music like a stevie wonder uh maybe like a bill withers something that's a little bit more mellow um so those are always things i can i can bring to the table for any event got it got it yeah Yeah. um look if people are if you're looking right now uh to do an event obviously you're booking up fast so yeah yeah dot com um, check them out. Yes. Um, you'll likely uh, run across the, the amazing Dan Bevan, who is yes, never right. here on LinkedIn, possibly YouTube. <laughs> we'll talk to him on YouTube. That's right. That's uh, right. No, amazing manager. Um, you got a lot of great people working yeah. with you at the, you know, yeah. uh, across uh, different different areas and such. So again, For dgsax.com. Sure. Now's the time. I'm telling you, um, this guy's going to be booked, man. Um, and yeah, you know, he's going to be at the Cubs game too uh, this year. I don't know. It's That's right. That's right. It, it's on the way, man. Dude. <laughs> it's on the way. It's on the way, man. Trust, trust. Yes. <laughs> got it. Got it. Well, hey, man, for Derek Griffin, I'm Peter Hostrosser, disrupteducation.co. Do not forget dgsax.com. You want to he- reach right. out. Thank you all for uh, hanging out with us on the live today. We'll uh, spring ahead soon, man. See you guys. That's right. See you.